مجلس پارٹی کے میئر حیدرآباد محمد ماجد حسین نے آج تین سال مکمل کر لیے اس کے ساتھ ہی جی ایچ ایم سی کونسل کے پانچ سال مکمل ہو گئے یہ مجلس اتحاد المسلمین کے اب تک کے چھٹے میئر تھے جس میں تین دلت بھی تھے میئر ماجد حسین نے اپنے وقت میں کئی بہترین اسکیموں کو عمل میں لایا جیسے کہ ڈرائیور کم اونر پانچ روپے میں کھانا بچوں اور عورتوں کے لیے تربیتی پروگرامز اسکول کے لیے ترقیاتی پروگرامز چوبیس شادی خانے چار سو منرل پانی کے پلانٹس ایک ہزار بیت الخلائیں بارہ سرکل آفیسیں روڈ پروجیکٹ تھیم اور امیوزمنٹ پارکس ہیریٹیج ٹوریزم پروجیکٹیں گیٹ وے آف حیدرآباد اور ایسے کچھ کامیاب اسکیما عمل میں آئی میں یہاں پہ تو سب سے پہلے میں بارشہ سب دین اویسی صاحب کا شکر گزار ہوں کہ انہوں نے مجھے چنا اور اس بار کا عہدے پہ بٹھایا اور مجھ پہ بھروسہ کیا بہت چھوٹی سی عمر میں اور الحمد للہ ان کی ہدایتیں اور اکبر الدین اویسی صاحب کے ساتھ کے ساتھ بہت عظیم و شان فیصلے مجلس اتحاد المسلمین نے جی ایچ ایم سی میں لیے ہیں جب ہم یہاں پہ آئے تھے تو کچھ خاص ڈیولپمنٹ کے لیے فنڈس نہیں تھے مگر جو جماعت کے پالیسیز تھے جو آج جی ایچ ایم سی کو ایک فائنینشیل اسٹرانگ پوزیشن میں لے کے آئے ہیں بہت سارے اقدامات ہوئے ہیں روڈ ڈیولپمنٹ پہ ہوئے ہیں کارپوریٹ روڈ ڈیولپمنٹ پلان پہ ہوئے ہیں مگر اور یہ پوری ایک ایک ٹیم ورک کے جیسا کام ہوا ہے یہ شاید پہلی بار ایسا ہوا کہ پورے پولیٹیکل پارٹی اس کو ایک جگہ لیتے ہوئے کچھ فیصلے لیے گئے جو عوام کو بہت زیادہ فائدہ مند ہو سکے بے شک یہاں کے آفیشیلس کا بھی میں شکر گزار ہوں جنہوں نے ہمیشہ میرا ساتھ دیا اور ان کو بھی میں ہمیشہ اپنے فیملی کے طور پہ لکھا ہوں انشاء اللہ تعالیٰ ہم جس طریقے سے جی ایچ ایم سی کو چھوڑ کے جا رہے ہیں ہمیں امید ہے اسی طریقے سے اور آگے کام ہوں دیکھیے انتخابات کے حساب سے تو سبدین اویسی صاحب بہتر جانتے ہیں کہ کس کے خدمات کس چیز میں بہتر ہوں اور ان کے ان کے یہ فیصلے قابل قبول ہوتے ہیں اور قابل تعریف ہوتے ہیں تو یہ بہتر ہوگا کہ اسد الدین اویسی صاحب صدر مجلس پہ یہ فیصلے چھوڑ دیں کہ وہ چنیں کہ کون کس کس جگہ پہ بہتر خدمات کے لیے بہتر ہوگا دیکھیے مجلس کے اہلیہ کے دن یہ فوڈ سبسڈی اسکیم کو لانچ کیا گیا تھا سب سے پہلے نام پلی سرائے میں جس کو فخر ملت کو خراج عقیدت دیتے ہوئے فخر ملت فوڈ سبسڈی اسکیم کا نام دیا گیا اور یہ بہت زیادہ مقبولیت پائی اور یہ پہلا ایسا ہندوستان میں ایسی پہلی منسپل کارپوریشن ہے جہاں پہ اس قسم کے اقدامات ہوتے ہیں اس قسم کے اقدامات صرف اسٹیٹ گورنمنٹ لیتی ہے اور جی ایچ ایم سی ایک ایسی پہلی منسپل کارپوریشن بنی جس نے ایسے اقدامات لیے اپنے منسپل کارپوریشن لیول پہ اور اس کے علاوہ بھی جو آر او پلانٹس ہیں یہ بھی مجلس اتحاد المسلمین کا ایک پالیسی فیصلہ تھا کہ سلمس میں لگایا جائے ہمیں امید ہے کہ یہ اور بہتر طور پہ ہوگے جو پراپرٹی ٹیکس کے حد تک ہم نے فیصلہ لیا کہ جس کا بھی جس کے بھی گھروں پہ چار ہزار کا پراپرٹی ٹیکس ہے ان کو معاف کر دیا جائے ہم نے اس چیزوں کو نظر نظر میں رکھتے ہوئے کہ جی ایچ ایم سی کی جو فائنینشیل کنڈیشن جب میئر جی ایچ مجلس کا بنا تھا جب جی ایچ ایم سی میں چار سو اسی کروڑ کا اوور ڈرافٹ تھا اور ریونیو صرف تین سو کروڑ تھا مگر یہ تین سال کے اقدامات میں ہم نے وہ چار سو اسی کروڑ کا قرضہ اتارا اس کے ساتھ ہی ساتھ ہم نے سرپلس اماؤنٹ یہاں پہ جمع کیا پراپرٹی ٹیکس جو تین سو کروڑ تھا آج بارہ سو کروڑ کے پار ہو چکا ہے جب اس قسم کا ریونیو آتا ہے تو بے شک عوام کو فائدہ پہنچانا چاہیے تو ہم نے یہ اقدامات دیے کہ چار ہزار تک جو بھی گھرے ہیں جو قریباً نو لاکھ گھروں کو فائدہ ہوگا ان کو یہ چیز معاف کی جائے ہم نے اس کا فیصلہ لیا اور حکومت کو یہ ریکویسٹ کی ہے کہ اس کو قبول کریں ایک بار جو حکومت اس کو منظور دیتی ہے تو قریباً نو لاکھ گھر تیرہ لاکھ گھروں میں سے نو لاکھ گھروں کو فائدہ ہوگا اور اس کا فائنینشیل جو برڈن جی ایچ ایف سی میں پڑے گا وہ صرف ایک سو بیس کروڑ ہوگا تو بارہ سو کروڑ کی ریونیو کے سامنے اگر آپ ایک سو بیس کروڑ دیکھیں تو بہت زیادہ بڑا بڑا فرق ہے اور جی ایچ ایم سی اس پوزیشن میں اب ہے کہ یہ اقدامات کو آگے بڑھا سکتا ہے دیکھیں میڈیا نے بھرپور تعاون کیا اور میڈیا کا جو سپورٹ میرے تین سال کے ٹینئر میں تھا شاید کسی میئر کو اتنا اتنا سپورٹ ملا اس کی وجہ یہ بھی ہو سکتی ہے کہ پچھلے میئروں نے کچھ نہ کچھ کہیں پوتھایا کہ جو یہ مجلس کے میئر نے نہیں کی جسے میئر پورے میڈیا نے بھی قبول کیا اور میڈیا نے بھی ستائش کیا وہ ٹی وی ہمیشہ ہمارے ہر ہر ہمیشہ ہماری ستائش اور پروموشن کرتا رہا اور یہ میڈیا کی طرف سے بھی بہت زیادہ انپٹس تھے میڈیا نے بھی بہت زیادہ انپٹس دیے ویریس سیکٹرس میں کہ گراؤنڈ ریالٹی اس قسم سے ان انپٹس کو لیتے ہوئے بھی ہمیں فیصلے کرنے میں بہت مدد Definitely highlighting whatever we have done. Definitely marking wherever we, were, we did perform. Thank you for all your continuous support. But for this media conference on the completion of my tenure as the mayor of this wonderful city, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, I thank the Almighty Allah 
for giving me this opportunity to serve the people of Greater Hyderabad for about three years. I express my deepest gratitude to my party president and Hyderabad MP, Janab Asaduddin Awesi Sahab, and AIMIM Low Leader in the Assembly, Janab Akbaruddin Awesi Sahab, for interesting me this key position at a very young age. I would like to mention that I have completed my term successfully under the guidance of Janab Asaduddin Awesi Sahab. This was in pursuant to the understanding that have been reached with the Congress party for sharing the post of GHMC Mayor by terms during the five-year tenure of elected body. The first GHMC Mayor was my predecessor, Mrs. Banda Kartikaretti from the Congress, and I was elected to the post of on 3rd January 2012. I held the post for the past 35 <laughs> months with the cooperation of one and all. I got this opportunity thanks to the vision of Salare Millat, Janab Sultan Smauti Navisi Sahab, who had given the slogan of Shahar Hamara, Mayor Hamara, when elections were held to the then Municipal Corporation of Hyderabad in 1986. I may recall that AIMAN had had its mayor for five years in a row in the East Wild MCH during 1996 to 91. Three of the AIMAN mayors during the period were Dalit brothers. K. Prakash Rao Sahab, K. Satyanarayan Sahab, and Alampalli Pocheya Sahab. M. K. Mubin and Mir Zulfi Ali Sahab were the other two AIMAN mayors. During my 35 month tenure, the GHMC has grown from strength to strength. Our achievements during the period are many, as I strove to transform the GHMC into a truly metropolitan civic body, with focus on development of its civic infrastructure and welfare of its residents. Many new works were taken up and numerous key initiatives were launched. We have also stuck to our promise of augmenting the GHMC re revenues without adding to the tax burden on the citizens of Hyderabad. Further, we have taken a decision in the standing committee to waive off property tax on individual residential houses up to 4,000 rupees per annum to benefit the lower middle class households residing in GHMC. And the matter is under the consideration of the Telangana government. I earnestly hope that the Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana, Janab K. Chandrasekhar Rao Sahab, will take a favorable decision in this regard. I have presented GHMC budgets for three financial years, 2012-13, 13-14, and 14-15. The revenue income of the corporation has gone up from 1,370.35 crores in 2011-12 to 1,840.53 crores in 2012-13 and rupees 2,212.94 crores in the year 2013-14. The capital receipts have increased from 458.19 crores in 2011-12 to 611.32 crores in 2012-13 and rupees 420.50 crores in 2013-14. Similarly, the revenue expenditure of the corporation went up from rupees 1102.85 crores in 11-12 to 1315.89 crores in 12-13 and rupees 1373.31 crores in 13-14. Capital expenditure to increase from 565.43 crores in 11-12 to 563.34 crores to 12-13 and 1028.72 crores in 13-14. The total revenues of GHMC have risen from 1820 28.54 crores in 2011-12 to 2,451.85 crores in 12-13 to 2,633.44 crores, indicating a growth of 804.90 crores from 44.02 in two years. The total expenditure of GHMC increased from 1,668.28 crores in 11-12 to 1,879.23 crores in 12-13 and rupees 2,402.03 crores in 2013-14, indicating a growth of rupees 733.75 crores or 43.98% in two years. When I took over, the GHMC made a modest surplus of 160.26 crores in 11-12. The corporation had a huge overdraft. We cleared the loans 
and made surplus of 572.62 crores in 12-13 and in 13-14 the surplus was 231.41 despite a big hike in expenditure. The GHMC revenues from property tax alone has increased from rupees 600.11 crores in 2011-12 to 776.19 crores in 2012-13 to 1023.44 crores in 13-14 and in current financial year a target of rupees 1395 crores have been set without increasing the tax rate. Similarly our revenue received from town planning trade license fees and assigned revenues and our capital received from JNNURM grants, 13 finance commission grants BPS and LRS receipts, MNTS and Hyderabad Metro Rail deposit works has grown substantially. Apart from meeting our ever increasing establishment and administrative expenses, we have stepped up the revenue and capital expenditure on maintenance and operation and development of roads, buildings, bridges, flyovers, strong water drains, street lighting, slaughterhouses, parks, playgrounds and solid waste management as well as welfare schemes such as Asra, Vikasam, Metpa, Night Shelters, etc. Among the major decisions taken by GHMC since January 2012, we have approved the report of Prasad Rao Committee on the reorganization of GHMC administration and augmentation of staff. The government has sanctioned additional staff of 2,607 across all wings of GHMC. The GHMC is taking up exercise of reorganizing the number of circles from 18 to 30 with proper staffing in all the circles and zones of the corporation. We strongly resisted the move of the previous state government of undivided Andhra Pradesh to extend the area of GHMC through merger of Gram Panchayats by adopting a unanimous resolution in the general body at its meeting on 3rd July 2013. When the government issued the notification for merger of 36 Gram Panchayat with GHMC, disregarding our objections, we again rejected the proposals on the ground that adding new areas spanning 300 square kilometers with a population of 4.4 lakhs to the corporation would be both impractical and unreliable. Since the GHMC lacks the administrative strength and financial resources to administer and provide civic amenities in the new areas. I am thankful that all the parties, AIMIM, Congress, TDP, BJP, TRS supported us and ensured that GHMC limits were not extended at the crucial time when the purification of the state of AP was taking place. Otherwise today we would have a common capital of Hyderabad spread over 922 square kilometers with a population of 71.70 lakhs. After our inter intervention, the previous government with Disclined the GO on merger of 30, 36 panchayats with GHMC and asked the Rangareti district director to constitute new municipalities and Nagar panchayats compromising these panchayats. We launched the Greater Hyderabad Development Plan to provide improved civic infrastructure by constructing flyovers, rail, railway underbridges, and overbridges, taking up widening of roads and junction improvements, and development of the city level and colony parks in the core area as well as the peripheral areas. The estimated outlay of the project is around rupees 813 crores. Work on old city city development package, Chanina pedestrian project, Musi revitalization project, Nala improvement, sports complexes, modernization of slaughterhouses and fish markets, conservation of leaks and biodiversity park, Miralam development, Molari road ramp, road winding on HMR corridor and MMTS2 and various other projects were expedited. On the welfare front, we have implemented several schemes including within Ali, Runalu and self-help women groups, Abhay Hastam, Janashi Bhima Yojana, Bangaru Tali, Raju Yuvaki Runalu, Alpan Self-Employment Program, Vikasam, Asra and Night Shitters for the Homeless etc. We have also organized job mailers in South Zone and Central Zones and secured placements for many use with reputed companies and employers. It is prevalent to mention that GHMC has taken an initiative to enter into a sister city relationship with important cities in the world and to cooperate in different sector. Recently, the Honorable Prime Minister of our country also made a reference of Hyderabad in Brisbane G20 meet to increase city to city agreements in future. It is an honor for me that GHMC hosted two international memorable events 
conference of parties, COP 11, a prestigious event of convention of biodiversity, which attracted more than 500 participants from 45 countries across the world, and the Metropolis World Mayors Conference in Hyderabad. The international delegates appreciated the development of GHNC in all its activities and they were very much impressed with the broad roads and greenery in and around the city and also the cosmopolitan culture of the city. They evinced interest in the heritage and historical monuments maintained in Hyderabad and efforts being made for their preservation. When I took over as mayor, I had promised to ensure the development of civic infrastructure in the core city, erstwhile MCH, as well as other areas the extended area that covers erstwhile 12 municipalities on top priority. I had assured to do justice to all 150 divisions to ensure that no area lags behind the others in terms of civic amenities. In furtherance to this objective, we have in March rupees 1 crore each for every corporate award in GHMC budget 2012-13-14 and we have also enhanced the corporate budget to rupees 1.5 crores per division in core area and 2 crores per division in peripheral area for taking up works identified by the respective corporators in current financial year 2014-15. The funds include release of for sewerage and water works as well. We also stepped up the location for water supply, street lighting and strong water drainage networks in the peripheral areas. During my tenure, I have introduced a number of new schemes and initiatives. We have also launched the food subsidy scheme which has quite be become quite popular. The new scheme invested in 2014-15 budget included training program for youth and women, school approach improvement, construction of 24 function halls, 400 RO plants, 1,000 toilets, 12 circle offices, themes and amusement parks, heritage, tourism project, gateway of Hyderabad, peripheral road projects and sports fellowship, etc. I sincerely hope that these works would be grounded and completed in the next few months. During my tenure, I have sought the cooperation and suggestions of all political parties represented in GHMC to achieve our goal of making Greater Hyderabad a truly global city in terms of civic infrastructure and standard of living even while preserving the rich culture and historic heritage of this Hyderabad. Apart from upgradation of civil infrastructure, we have focused on improvement of delivery of various services by the GHMC through Citizen Service Centre. We have also made a lot of efforts in the areas of housing and poverty elevation. As I have stated repeatedly, a great challenge lies ahead of us to work for the comprehensive development of our city in direction of making it a model city in the world. As the key civic body, the, of the city rendering number of services to the citizen, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation has a historic responsibility to perform. On behalf of GHMC, I have presented the 14th Finance Commission the proposal under the draft annual de development plans for the year 2015-16 to 2019-20. The GHMC has sought total assistance of Rs. 3,736 crores towards 14 Finance Commission grants. And I am sure that with this ma massive assistance, the agency would be able to keep up the pace of the development that we have initiated in the next five years. The proposed outlay include Rs. 119 crores for demodeling and construction of stormwater drains, Rs. 825 crores for flyovers, ROBs, RUBs, elevated corridors, Rs. 150 crores for major and link roads, Rupees 500 crores for Musi revitalization project phase 1, Rupees 100 crores for pro protection work such as chain link fencing, Rupees 41 crores for street lighting, Rupees 485 crores for integrated municipal solid waste project and the PPP mode, Rupees 35 crores for parks, central nurseries, Rupees 341 crores for women empowerment, livelihood, promotion, disabled welfare and senior citizen welfare. Rs. 140 crores for road infrastructure, improvement and intelligent transport system infrastructure. Rs. 500 crores for old city development and Rs. 500 crores for public safety and security measures. As I prepare to lay down my office, I take the opportunity to thank all the ex officio members, honorable MPs, MLAs, MLCs, deputy mayor, standing committee members, flow leaders of, of all parties, cooperator colleagues, corruption members, GHMC commissioner, other officials of GHMC and media friends for extending the fullest cooperation to me in the, in the discharge of my duties as a mayor of GHMC. I honestly hope and trust that the GHMC will continue the good work and continue all the new schemes and initiatives 
that we have launched during the five-year tenure of the elected body, more so in the three years of my stewardship as mayor. I assure all cooperation of my party to GHMC administration in the months to come. I also express my deepest gratitude to the citizens of Greater Hyderabad and wish them all the best. Thank you.